Good morning traders and this is your Aussie technical analysis for today. So we ended up with a pretty weird structure. We gapped up um, pretty much close to level, not quite on the level, um, it's just sort of it and this I suppose we can just tidy it there and then we can argue that it touched it. So let's keep that permanent on the chart. So that was our level that we gapped up to and pretty much rejected straight away and ended up with a red bar. Now I just want to double check that we don't have nonsense data, we probably do, there's my nonsense data. So our close was there, not down there. Let's come back to our daily to see how that influences the bar, not much. So it's still a fairly strong red bar to the downside. Okay, um, there's nothing really else I can see on from a level perspective. I just want to check that top level. If I remember correctly, not much going on. There is a bit of interaction with this top level. And also pretty much around where we closed, but nothing, nothing really concrete here. Okay, you can see Look at this area here where there was a little bit of congestion between these two levels and then a reversal. Okay, anyway, so there's nothing much there. What we want to do here is pay attention to the lower time frames because that's going to give us the opportunity that we're looking for. Okay, so just looking at the structure we have now, we can immediately see we have a bit of a triangle forming. Um, so we have a consolidation from a big move down. So let's just zoom back in here, we can just see the, the structure clearly. There's our triangle, okay. There's our triangle, pretty much most of yesterday. Uh, that is big down, big up, big down, big up. And uh, that is confusion. But just pay attention to your structure. break of that triangle to the downside definitely brings a few key levels into play and uh, the first one is well actually the first one's going to be here so your first one's going to be 44208 then you're going to be looking at let's just take this the close here rather let's see a bit of price action to the left here 43776 and if it gets through that, then you have a measured move, which lines up with this level here. Look to the left, you'll see quite a bit of congestion there. And I don't think anything further in recent times, except for this area here, 44208. Okay, so 44.28, definitely something we need to pay attention to, I think, and that's also the 150 EMA on the three hour. Okay, so if we get down to the one hour, let's just come back in so we can see what's happening. Um, you can see what happened yesterday. We gapped up pretty much off a level. If I look to the left, there's my level. Rejected that level, moved the downside, moved back up, down. Moving averages are pointing to the downside, which is indicating a uh, trend to the downside. Uh, we are below the zero on the stochastic MACD here. Uh, my stochastics are in the middle of nowhere, which um, doesn't help anything. Doesn't give us any indication of what's going on at all. So this is a consolidation. There is no two ways about it. The question is, what consolidation? Is this consolidation for a break to the upside or break to the downside? We do have this magnet of um, this, we've got this magnet here of gap close. So what we could do is break out of the triangle to the upside, close the gap, come back and test it. We could also fake out, form a range, and move to the downside. Mm. Uh, or alternatively, we could just open and run to the downside. Uh, don't see a case for either of those scenarios at the moment that convinces me of anything. I'm kind of leaning towards actually just staying out of this today 
I think um, there's a little bit more structure on the US markets right now. And let's just get. Okay, let's delete the noise here. So you can see whenever we have moving averages that are bouncing around like this and prices bouncing up and down between moving averages, that is always an indication that there is confusion. Okay, if you've got moving averages are pointing straight on, and we haven't had that in a while, there's opportunity there, here's opportunity here, here's another opportunity here. So when you see that kind of structure, you know you're trending and you've got an opportunity to get into it. Where we are at the moment, so we had a breakthrough, um, this was Monday, crossover, moving onto level, rejected, up, down, up, down. I think the only bit of um, confidence I have here is look at the 150 here, 150 EMA, use the support, use the resistance, use the resistance. So is this a double top of the moving average? Ideally, what I want to see is the break below the low of yesterday. If we get below the low of yesterday, that brings the lows of Monday into play. I think that's the one trade that I do see. So if we do get a break and a retest of this 45,197, then I'd be targeting. Come on. 44.675. Um, that would be my target. So if we do get above, I'm just going to move this level down slightly. If we do get above these, um, this little bit of uh, resistance here, which is 45,798, then I would be inclined to believe that this area here, which is pretty close to your gap of 46,265, would be the target area. Okay, now if you look at that structure, it's pretty much equidistance to the upside and to the downside. So what we're doing here is looking for a breakout up there. We're looking for that kind of breakout. I, I don't think it's going to go that high. This level here is way too, way too strong for that. I would see the seller stepping in on that. And that's the downside, pretty much the same kind of scenario. We do have a, a fairly strong level here. Okay. So that's kind of the only trade that I can see for today on the Aussie. Um, that's one of the two. It's uh, I'm neutral on, on what direction it is. If you look at the at the high time frames, you know, this is uh, a bit of a uh, this is a consolidation and it's consolidated in this area in the past. Look there, look there, look there. It's consolidated, broke down, consolidated, broke up, consolidated, broke down. So consolidated, break up or break down. One of the two. Um, no clear direction. I think ultimately we're forming a bigger range here. So until we start breaking below these previous lows here, um, we can't really put anything into this. On the four hour though, you can see we have a moving average crossover here. But look at the divergence between them. So it could be the start of a trend. You see here was a crossover and look how long this upward trend lasted. Uh, but at this stage, we've got to be patient. Uh, the only opportunities you're going to find are going to be on the lower time frames right now. And that's what you want to be watching if you're going to trade this. Personally, I'm going to stay out of the, the Aussie. I may, if we get a gap close, I may look at and uh, see what happens up there for a rejection of that level. But um, yeah, for me at the moment, I think my bias is ever so slightly to the downside to come and target the bottom of the range here of 44,675. And then from there to actually have a look, see what's going to transpire. But uh, only reason for that is looking on the hour, my moving averages are still sort of in a bearish point, And uh, I don't have any indication here that I'm at a level that I need to pay attention to. So trend is still currently down. Um, there are warning bells that I need to look out for something. A small little gap here to the downside as well. So gaps to the downside, gaps to the upside. And there are some big gaps to the downside still as well. Okay, so so yeah, it's um, 
pretty much a, a very neutral day for me at the moment, but we'll see what happens. So 45.793, we get above that, then we're looking for 46.265, and converse, if we get below 45.197, we are looking at 44.675, potentially this gap close as well. And uh, you can see, you can put in a level here and watch that as well. You can see all this interaction here at around 44.374, so it may extend to that. Um, upside, I think, is going to be capped by 46.265. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today. hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.